Before we start the topic, let us first understand the basics of process management. What do you understand by management? Management refers to the organization and coordination of the activities of a business in order to achieve defined objectives. Management is often included as a factor of production along with machines, materials, and money. Next, what is business process? A business process is simply defined as any activity or set of activities designed to change one or more inputs, which may be physical or information, into one or more outputs. Now we move on to the subtopic process planning. What is actually process planning? The development of goals, strategies, task lists, and schedules required to achieve the objective of a business. The planning process is a fundamental function of management and should result in the best possible degree of need satisfaction given the resource available. Processes need to be planned in order to be successful and corporate goals and visions can be deployed to departmental or process levels. A methodology for creating a process focused on the need of the customer is the QFD process planning matrix. The slide here shows the formal definition of process control, that is process control refers to the activities involved in ensuring the process is predictable, stable and consistently operating at the target level of performance with only normal variation. The logical way to overcome the challenges associated with this type of system is to apply preventive techniques at the operation stage to ensure that the product is produced to the quality. The approach is based on statistical process control, which is a statistical method of data collection and analysis that works in such a way as to monitor the operation and control it to its maximum potential. This enables the operation to be carried out in confidence that the final product will be good. Causes of Variation Variation is a part of our everyday life, both at work and in our private life, we make allowance for its effects from the process of getting to work in the morning to the output of a complex manufacturing system. We need to get a quantitative feel for the variation in our processes. There are two basic elements to this variation, the central tendency and the spread. We need to have a handle on both these things, they are vital to a successful process. At this stage, it is important to note the two potential causes of variation that can affect a process. Number 1. Common cause variation. This is a variation that is inherent in the process. It is always there. In the process of getting to work, this will mean things like waiting time at fixed traffic lights or the driver's mood and condition or weather conditions. Only fundamental action on the process can change common causes. For example, changing route to avoid traffic lights will remove that cause of variation. Number 2. Special cause variation. This is a variation due to transient causes outside the process norms and can usually be traced back to the specific cause. In the journey to work example, this would include road works, breakdowns, etc. In many cases, action can be taken to achieve a reduction in the future effect of these transient problems. For example, better maintenance to avoid breakdowns, which does not fundamentally change the process. Accordingly, a process which is subject only to common cause variation is described as being in statistical control. This is sometimes reduced to in control or described as stable. This essentially means it is predictable and we know what is coming within limits. When a process is under the influence of special causes, it is described as being out of statistical control or out of control or unstable. To effectively manage a process, we need to be able to distinguish between in control and out of control conditions. To do this, we need to establish what the natural limits of the common cause variation are. To begin this process, we need to put the data into context.